I'm a candidate for Christian People's Alliance for Hornsey and Wood Green. I'm a Christian, I love Jesus, and I believe we, that faith without works is no faith at all. It's good to do things God's way. By doing things God's way, we promote freedom for all to live godly and dignified lives. Prosperity follows behind. I believe in traditional marriage. I believe that every child deserves a mum and a dad. We're pro-life. That means we support the rights of the most vulnerable from conception through to natural death. I'd like to talk about three things this afternoon, the NHS, marriage and abortion. When my elderly father moved in to live with us, it was wonderful. We really enjoyed having him and he contributed so much to the dynamics in our family. It reminded me of the verse, honour your mother and father and you will be blessed. Being a carer has really opened my eyes to what it's like being an elderly and a disabled person. I think it's important for us as communities to take care of each other, especially for the old and the vulnerable. We, our party would want to ensure that the rights of elderly and disabled people are protected by working towards state-funded personal care for all elderly and disabled people. We would like to see the state pension rising to £200 per week as soon as, as it is affordable. Currently, the NHS and social service teams are split up living in their own little worlds of service level agreements and targets. So no one looks after the patient. We fully support the NHS and the social services and we'd like to make things work much more efficiently. Now, government figures show that the breakdown of marriage is costing us 47 billion a year. Society has forgotten just how good biblical marriage is for us. It's good at keeping families together. We have detailed proposals of how to deal with this. We're proposing a grant of £10,000 on the occasion of a first marriage provided the couple goes for marriage training, at least three sessions, and we're also proposing on the birth of the child that they would get a grant of £5,000, <coughs> again provided they go for child rearing lessons. We want to create a situation where it's foolish not to get married and take advantage of these grants. Numerous studies have shown that children develop better with both a mum and a dad, and also the, the bad news is a 50-50 chance of having been with both parents all their life. This has to change. If we can promote godly marriages, the cost of other issues which stem from that will be much reduced. Whether it's a 12-year-old who posted explicit selfies on the internet without realising it was wrong, or a 10-year-old whose parents went through a divorce and got bullied into joining a gang, a 10-year-old who felt rejected, rejected and self-harmed after her parents split up, or a 17-year-old who became pregnant just before starting uni so had an abortion. We forget that there's social reasons why we have to spend so much on mending issues which can be avoided by the promotion of godly values in our society. I remember when I was 18, my best friend got pregnant and had an abortion. A few months later, all her hair dropped out. It was awful. Women like her deserve our sympathy, not condemnation. Now, abortion is often a man's choice in a way. He abandons his woman and child. His body makes a promise that he then chooses not to keep. She follows through with his decision and has an abortion. Abortion is not about women's rights. Marriage is about women's rights. Abortion is also bad for women. Women who have abortions are more vulnerable to depression, nightmares, substance abuse, sleep, sleeping disorders, sexual problems, and the list goes on. There's also risks relating to the procedure. 
And of course, finally, abortion takes a life. Each year, about 200,000 abortions take place in England, Wales and Scotland. I ask you, do you think this is good for our daughters? Do you think it is good for our nation? We would like to see consideration of alternatives, such as adoption. We would also make approved counselling compulsory and make it illegal to recommend abortion as the best option. We have to educate people and take the nation with us. Over the past few years, legislation has been introduced which seeks to illegalise a Christian's right to conscience. It's not enough for people of faith to remain silent. They must be forced to celebrate ideas they disagree with or be forced out of their positions. Whatever your opinion on same-sex equality, it's making some people more equal than others. Whether you are a barrister, a bed and breakfast owner, a registrar, a social worker, a foster parent, your right to freedom of conscience is being illegalised. We would like to tackle these issues to make our society more just. Christian People's Alliance seeks to promote godliness in our society. Protecting those most vulnerable, including persecuted Christians overseas, loving your neighbour, selflessness, sacrificial generosity, fidelity and freedom of conscience. Thank you very much for listening.